Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Salton Sanctuary. Um, I want to head this off and just say, while well, I attempted to get my souls back, I got them back, but then couldn't survive getting out. So I'm a little higher up than when I left. But not too much. Damn it. I can now decently kill the, uh, Salt, saltless, whatever those things were called. Salt deprived. Salt possessed soul. Ha ha. Come on, dude. It's probably a chance to coup de gras him. Anyway, so I got a couple more of my goodies. Upgraded good and proper. More piss mud. This is a minor thing, but uh... It annoys me greatly. I just tabbed out to look at my, uh, like, just, like, my Steam Steam. And I have a few items in my inventory. And I recognize one of them. I have trading cards. One is of the Sodden Soggy Knight, or whatever his name is. The Soggy Champion. Is this a... Why would I need to light a torch in here? Ah, that was stupid. I just missed it. Anyway, one of them is of the Soggy Knight. One of them is of this, which means that I could have gotten spoiled on this boss's design. Oh boy. And then one is of an enemy I don't even recognize. Man, this thing does some good damage. Sorry, I just abandoned all like strategy there. That's fine, it was a bad start. 2007 salt. Ugh. It's a lot of salt. See, I've been buying more of the, um, the one thingies. I imagine that it must be like Dark Souls, where... We're using, what are those, locks of hair to upgrade our stuff? It's probably gonna be like Dark Souls in that. All the default level one, like, basic upgrade tier stuff can be gotten decently easily. You know, so you can, to draw a direct comparison to the big DS, uh, you can buy Titanite shards about an hour into the game. Now granted, maybe it's not an hour of, like, you know, progress that you would make on your first playthrough, but... And, like, on a second playthrough, that would be, like, ten minutes of progress. Depending on your path, of course. But I digress. The point is, is that in Dark Souls, at a certain point, it becomes very easy to get the default upgrade material. And then the second tier upgrade material becomes much rarer. Ooh, gosh.
Oh, so when she does her combo, she keeps it going. Why not just play it safe, top off with one of those? Oh my god, did you see my health? That was good though. A lot more salt. <coughs> I think I'm killing enough that I am getting a profit on this. Like, not that I care, I have a pretty decent amount of gold. Yeah, the last one cost me 50. Nice. And it was very convenient of him to die where I could pick up his stuff easily without much hassle. Okay, so it's like here. Wow, go to hell, dude. Let's have some of that, shall we? The fact that this game does have a heavy attack and a light attack really adds a lot to it. Like, I don't know if people know how much you lose by not having those, and how much you gain by having those. Like, for those who have played The Force Awakens, that Star Wars game, they actually cut the ability to heavy attack out of that game. Just think about how much more interesting that game would be if you could do that, you know? This is our do combo. Okay, so I gotta get closer and get in sooner. Okay, just finish it. Much, much less painful. Vanquished. Right, I'm going to continue venturing on forward. Another ear. Because I trust this game to be, you know, good with its checkpoints. Don't despair. You're not alone. I think that's the wrong your, but it's probably only because of the uh, uh, semi-limited stuff. Iron pot, chef trousers, aprons. Oh yeah, I don't know if I ever finished that thought process, but every character you can choose to play as in Dark Souls 1 is somebody that you can find elsewhere in the world. A free level. Cool. So you can... Ah, oh, I'm here. Night. And useful. So, like, if you play as the knight, you can go find the knight's, like, corpse somewhere. But, like, that's not what they intend by it. What they want you to find is, like, you go track down the, uh... So I got three of these, do I? Let's put them here. Because it'll just give me three points of strength. And that's just convenient. Let's see if there's any upgrades I can pop. Whoops. Uh. 
But yeah, you choose to play as the knight, and you can... And by doing so, you're not choosing to play as, you know, the hunter, the the thief, whatever. And so, the idea is that the hunter and the thief and the whatever are all still in the world, just in, you know, other places. The issue is that the game doesn't actually, like, do anything based on what character you picked. So you'll, you know, still have the... Like, there will be another knight that isn't you, that you can just find. But the idea is that, like, you know, those are people that died. Those are people who lost their way and hollowed. There's this theory I have that all of the corpses in Dark Souls are not, like, like dead dead. If they were, especially if they were formerly undead. It's just that they hollowed out so much that they can't walk anymore. That's my theory, at least. Getting a lot of those. I wonder if um, soldiers' poems and uh, locks of hair are supposed to drop. Whoops, going this way. Heavy armor, right? Oh, I really want to be able to see what this looks like. Hmm. I'm just going to Google it, actually. All right, I Googled it. It's a decently cool set. I'm going to buy this. And then I'm going to get two locks of hair. Yeah, it's a very simple but effective, like, thing in, um, Dark Souls that, like, you upgrade your gear in Dark Souls quite a lot. It's a pretty significant part of the gameplay loop. And so, like, getting the materials to do it is, you know, different depending on where you are in the game. Because if you're late game, you can buy, you know, the first two tiers... And there are three tiers, and then there's the final tier. Nice. Oh, I can upgrade this too. I'll go ahead and do that. I think it works as like a system. Because it always means, oh, it's like five to get the first thing. Hmm. I guess you get that default if you're a cleric. And then from there, I can get another endurance and poultice. That might be interesting to build towards. I could go through here and then get a poultice that way. Well, let me see here. Where's the next poultice that I can get? God, sinking five points in just so I can use cleric spells might not even be crazy. Might be interesting to grab to like go this way. Ah, that's a huge roadblock though. That's four. And, like, I don't care about using daggers, but, like, 
the dexterity would be nice. Hmm. Oh, I missed that one. Weird. Hmm. Don't know how I missed that. I mean, now that I know that I should be looking out for them. Oh yeah, I can just go this way. Whoops. It's kind of annoying to have like something on my belt. Cause like I like the way that my character looks and I don't want stuff coming covering it up. Right, it's these things. These guys look like the cast of sticks. That game about the goblin. Okay, cool. My visceral attack will stop damage incoming, which is nice. I like that. Hup. That is an appreciable amount of damage. And the game actually... <coughs> pardon me. The game actually does chart... Um, slashing damage versus, like, piercing versus blunt, I believe. I don't think they're called that, but, you know, that's what they are. Okay. A little more strength, I might be able to start killing those things in one. So, is this going to be Blight down here? Oh man, that doesn't count. That was che that's cheating. It's on base. I never got this. I'm getting distracted. Ooh. You can just bat him out of the air. That feels good. You weren't even the guy I was after. Man, you gotta be on it with the, uh... <sighs> you get a launcher, huh? That's interesting. Not what I would expect, but I like it. I like it a lot. There's a, there's a lot of good about this game. Like, my only complaints, I think, were me... Uh, complaining about how I got spoiled on that boss and maybe got sunk in keep, huh? And maybe got spoiled on another boss because of like Steam achievement pops and like or not um achievements, but uh like this is willpower. Mind and body are linked. Has effect focus on fatigue. Okay, these are mechanics I don't understand. Weak poison. Prayer will help. Kraken Cyclops. The traditional Cyclops in that it has an eye. Wow, this is just boss double feature. Ooh. Okay, so he's got big damage. My recovery frames. Ooh. Oh, when he slides it, ain't good. Ooh. 
Wow. Bro. Ooh, couldn't get away. Interesting. <coughs> Kraken Cyclops. So like a Kraken, but a Cyclops. I am going to spend some of my cash on getting another sword. Because I want one. I want to try them out. So if I put a shield here, I have a more traditional moveset then. Oh, so you actually have to put a thing in your offhand in order to use this moveset. Interesting. I can rock with this though. All right, let's move swiftly. Look, if you guys are gonna demand it, I will kill you. I'm nothing if not a fan favorite. Dude, that pop is so strong. The length of this sword might be the best part of it. Like, this thing is huge. Oh god. That uh that was a that was a couple of bad things happening to me all at once. That's real unfortunate though. I didn't lose that much money though. One thing that was kind of an interesting mechanic in Sekiro was that you could buy money bags. And like, you know, money bags work like soul where, you know, you can, if you're a little short on supplies, you can buy a bag of money. Sorry, if you're short on supplies, you can pop a bag of money. And, you know, you'll get the cash. Ah, oh, I did it again. Is there ever a reason to use the bell of returning instead of just saving and quitting also? Go. Dude, it's so not cool. Oh, you can break out. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. Actually, I assume that you could. I was I've just been hitting the wrong button the whole time. Silly of me. Okay. What are you, dude? Am I going the right way? Is this the same place where I was? There's a thing over here, so this might be new. Oh, 
Pardon me. <laughs> Boy, everyone is stupid except me. What? It is boss central in here. They do six. Good boy. Drink it, boy. Oh, man. I don't even know where that is. That's, that's crazy. That's wild. I, I have just bumbled my way around this. I'm not going to get a map, am I? Sorry, that just sunk in. So, how much is... Where's my, okay, so this is only four pounds. So yeah, I guess the thing that you're like paying for is the amazing, amazing damage. Cause yeah, that is Now let's compare. I own a few claymores in real life too. They're one of my favorite kinds of swords. Uh huh. I mean, the answer is kind of clear, isn't it? Just only in terms of what does more damage, though. Be willing and jump. That's a good message. There's no rating system for this. Ha. Huh. You know I saw you there. Okay. I'm gonna pop this just to top off. Raptor Sabaton Sabatons. I'm seeing a lot of Germanic stuff in here. Like, I don't need to know German to know that Doppelsolnar is a German word. There are way too many consonants for it not to be. Okay, this is interesting. So we found our way back. Let's go. So those things shoot twice. My god, that's a lot of damage. How much salt do I need to level up, dude? Because, like... I might use the old standby. He has enough salt on him to get me a level. Granted, a level won't get me very far from where I am right now, but... It might be interesting to think about. I can't believe that the lightning does that much damage.
Are there no, like, checkpoints in between here and there also? That's really annoying. Ah, oh. it's the place with you, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, when I was just like looking at like I think screenshots or whatever this game and like. You always had, like, a different healing system. Like, you know, one thing gives you salve, and one thing gives you... You know, that's a thing that should be... in Dark Souls. Like, a slime dropping on your head, and you just rip your way through it. Like, why not, you know? What is, what is all those points in strength good for if you can't use it to escape a grab faster? You know, there's like this urban myth that like, uh, escaping a grab in Dark Souls is a glitch. Which is weird because there's like an animation for it and everything. And like, I don't know how people believe that stuff, but like, it's just one of those like, I mean, I don't know if this will age me in, by saying it, but it's one of those, like, Mewtwo truck style, like, myths, like, urban legends, where it's just like, yeah, totally, dude. Like, they don't even have to make sense. I would love to start one of those. Maybe I should do that whenever I start making, like, whenever I develop a video game. Man, this, this makes me feel things about indie games, dude. Like, this is a, this game is what you might call a triumph, I would say. Dude. Where should I be going? Like, I, I feel like I've literally lost that one area. Like, I don't even remember that boss now. I couldn't tell you what the name of that boss is. I just... It's been now replaced with the Mad Alchemist. That's all I know now. And this leads here. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just going to do this on camera for the sake of doing it. But yes, I can kill these things now. See? Being able to sling him into the air really helps. And they give a appreciable amount of goodies, as you can see. So I just ran over here to see if I could kill them. And as it happens, I could kill some of them, but the other ones caught up. And we went back and forth like that until I was able to catch up and kill them good. I may as well just sink this. Yeah, it's kind of annoying of a walk. Because it's just like, you know, kind of far away from both 
um, sanctuaries. Thank you. But it is a place to grind. So I should, you know, hold on to that. I want to, like, read about this game, but, like, now I can't. Because, like, now I can't get spoiled. Because, like, I'm like, look, it's a blind LP. I said I was doing it blind. I gotta, I gotta stick to that, you know? <coughs> so what does remove skill get me? Oh, gray pearls turn into black pearls if you remove a skill with it. I think I'll grab this next. So I'll save that. I do like the idea of buy, I, I I figured out why you buy a gray pearl and then use that to buy a level instead of just buying a level. It's so you can, you know, change your mind later. Or not change your mind. It's so you can, like, stock them. Because otherwise you might have a problem where it's like, you know, I, I don't want to buy anything. How much health do those things have? I, I want to get over that threshold and kill them in one. They're so annoying. They're so quick. And they also do so much damage. Was that a crit or something? And that's... That one was 12. You know, it's a pretty easy thing to do to just put Hawk in something's name and make it cool. But it works. Okay. Damn it. Trust jump item. I've got an antidote, don't I? Oh, it doesn't matter now. So is this the way to the boss? Oh, a stranger comes to this mossy belly of a tree. I'll set you straight. Met a woods wraith? No, I've never met a woods wraith. A stone root, or some call me a woods wraith. For a thousand years, we strayed in, stayed in the forest. Our allegiance has been to the spirits of the woods. Men have invented, praised, and died for countless fleeting gods and demons, but our forest is forever. Worst of our reputation comes from our love of poisons. But, my friend, poison's a wondrous thing. Poison, like the forest, seeps through the realms of man, spreading, corrupting, invading, until all is reduced to earth. Man is a wretched thing, and the forest is committed to expunging him from existence. Woods wraith protect the forest, so the forest protects us. Want to be a woods wraith? Cast off and reach the altar and take the oath. Uh, wow, I wish I would have known that this was here earlier. That'll make the boss runs a lot easier. Yeah, I wonder where I get the key. So I learned that you can't just swipe in NPCs as well. I think it makes sense for a 2D game. Ugh, it's like fart gas. Amber idol and hateful jawbone. Well, let's give that thing a shot then, huh? Uh-huh. A gray poil. And the leather set. Okay. 
Well, that's fine that that's all done with then. We have another set. And then I'm gonna go kill that guy one more time. And then I can kill the Mad Alchemist. Wow. He's not really that big of a problem for me. Yep. All right, tree skill. What was I gonna grab? I think it was this, wasn't it? Because I wanted to be able to um, wear more. I don't know if I'm gonna swap out for this. That's cool. Ooh, but it is heavy. And that's with my new upgrade. Wow, yeah, it's like 10, it's nine pounds. Or nine pounds heavier. Ooh. Big. I have a pretty sprightly jump. Pardon me, sir. Well. Magic, use right armor. Oh, shit, yeah. That would make sense. He does magic damage, so I should wear stuff that'll protect me from that. Okay, so I think my problem was that I just got, like, Pancaked by like ten in a row. Oh god. Problem solved. Ain't nothing. Vanquished. So there's another boss in here then. Pardon me. That's my phone. <laughs> And uh, it's the, uh, in case you didn't hear that, yes, it is the sound that the grub makes from Hollow Knight. Recently beat it with my wife. Actually, now that, um, I forget when this is coming out. I think it's like the 20th or the 22nd. But yeah. Cool. Oh man, I might even be able to get further. Nah, eh, not really. That's okay though. Augmented endurance. Let's see if I can't grab a uh, poultice slot. Where would the next poultice slot be? I ask you. Here it is. Nice. All right. So there's the Kraken somewhere around here. And yep, we can key our way in there, which is sweet. Hell yeah. All right, I'm feel. oh, it's grass as well. So how does grass differ before I end the episode? Medicinal grass said to grow in the most poisonous corners of the Cadanian swamps. Some have found its way to the island. Just restore some HP. Because I think the other one talked about how it um, does a little more than just restore HP. Like it also protects you or something. I don't know if that's just like lore or RP stuff, but... Ugh, I'm feeling good. I, I recorded a brace of episodes and it's been a while since I've like recorded uh, uh, like that. I, I had a period of time where I was just recording like one thing and then quitting. I mean, not quitting, I mean, I finished it, but like I would record one thing and then that would be the only thing I recorded that day. Maybe I would get two in, but like, 
is the first session where I recorded like a couple things back to back to back and like I feel good about that. Um, it's possible I got a lot, a lot of things wrong, but I don't care. This is about the discovery of it. But I think the Salt and Sanctuary fans are a little less ornery than the Souls community. I know that there's a lot of crossover, but uh, staunch Soul series fans are kind of dicks. Anyway, um, I've been Alfred. This has been Salt and Sanctuary. And I hope everyone has a nice day. Thank you. Thank you for watching.